Hi guys, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the Psychic Tarot. As always, these are general readings, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. I'm just going to burn some Palo Santo before we get into the reading. These are general readings, guys. So sometimes they're going to resonate, sometimes they're they're not going to resonate so much because they're general readings. Okay, having said that, let's get right into the reading. Okay, let's, okay, I haven't even, I mean, I haven't even started shuffling and two cards already popped up. All right. Is there anything more that needs to come through for this week? One more place. Okay, great. So I got my four cards here. We're gonna get started. So the first card we have is Memories of Love, and this is the Six of Cups. Okay. All right. So I feel with this particular card, it's like you know, a lot of you guys, you're releasing, you're releasing past hurts you're releasing whatever it is that does not serve you you're releasing with love it's like you're you know when you have to let go of something anything in it that may be for you like you have to go through a grieving process you have to sit with whatever you're feeling you got to heal that and then you can move forward so that's really what i'm getting and uh, if I'm not wrong, you know, it's Mercury retrograde. So a lot of past stuff is going to come up and it's going to come up for um, healing, releasing, letting go. And, you know, and, so, and I believe that when you release, you make space for something which is more aligned to you. So I feel a lot of you guys, you know, for some, it's it goes right back to your childhood and, uh, you know, maybe you were neglected, maybe you were abandoned, whatever those initial wounds are. It's like you are letting them go. You're letting go of judgments. You're letting go of, um, you know, whatever that those patterns that have held you back and have held you stuck. Now, interestingly, the second card we have is Truth, which is the Judgment card in the Tarot. And uh, what this tells me, first of all, the first thing that I'm hearing as I'm looking at this card is face the truth, face the truth. And if you look at this card, this man is standing on, on a scale. So what I'm getting with this is justice. Justice prevails in all situations. There is a higher purpose and spirit is asking you to look at the higher purpose behind all your uh, life experiences and guys this is what my personal thought is especially if you're a light worker if you're star seed if you're indigo if your purpose is higher in terms of connecting with people helping people whether it's through counseling whether it's through readings whether it's through healings however it may be you will go through different uh life experiences just so that you gain that knowledge just so that you gain that higher uh, wisdom and understanding and you can see things from different perspectives and you can understand that okay so a lot of times I do find that you know light workers and they'll come to me and they'll say I went through this experience and that experience and sometimes it's you know the weirdest experiences that I come to year you know like some people will even have like alien encounters or implant remove uh, removing and things like that and the reason you know i had someone recently i was doing her reading and she had like all these extraordinary experiences and the reason she was having these experiences is part of her mission is to work through and help others and remove those implants remove those attachments negative attachments and negative beings if you uh, if you are let's say part of your purpose is to remove demonic attachments or you know uh, entity removals and things like that then you will have those experiences because how else are you going to learn i mean guys there is I know there are a lot of books and there are a lot of YouTube videos and there's stuff that you can learn from Google, but you know, nothing beats a firsthand experience. That's my thought. Because when you go through these experiences firsthand, you are, you are dealing with it. You know how it is and how it feels. Like I'll give you an example. Like 
a part of my purpose is also removing demonic entities and stuff and i once had a client where i was removing his attachments and then you know i i don't know i felt like you know after he left i felt like an attachment was was stuck to me and it was it was on me for a couple of days and i'm telling you this entity fought with me and made it so difficult it didn't let me sleep at night it was just like you know it had its claws on my crown chakra and i was after it as well i mean we were both fighting tooth and nail to kind of it wanted to cl cling on to my energy and actually bring my vibration down most of these entities want to do that they want to keep you down they want to keep you stuck and i just said not the right place buddy you need to go <laughs> send it back to life anyways um there was a way i, I mean i worked through it and i did my own self-healing and stuff but but you know i don't know why i'm talking about this and i don't know how the subject came up but um you know i just allow whatever comes through needs to come through i believe it needs to come through so what i'm getting is you will understand truths from a higher perspective you will understand certain situations why they're happening happening in your life and rather than taking them personally like you know uh this against this or this for this like if we just let go of whatever it is and kind of look at it from a higher perspective and understand like what's happening and this like you will understand that every situation is like a trigger situation for you to help you heal certain internal wounds or certain internal things that maybe you never looked into or maybe you never wanted to address them but now you're like forced to see them you're forced to understand and i feel that a lot of light workers go through all these situations since your childhood like you go through that you you can have like 10 brothers and sisters and a big family it doesn't matter <laughs> if you're a light worker you probably go through the craziest experiences while others at your home feel nothing nothing happens okay so the reason i'm telling you guys this is because it's for a higher purpose it's it's for a reason you're not crazy guys uh you it's almost like i always say that you know it's like you can't give like a grade 10 exam paper to a kindergartner right because they they're still learning abcs and one two threes and compared to a grade 10 student who get a more difficult exam because they've passed certain levels and they have a better understanding so is this case so just think that it's an upgrade okay i'm just trying to give you guys some hope here <laughs> but you know what i mean and you know where i'm going okay so the third card we have is foundation and achievement so a lot of you guys will be focusing on your homes will be focusing on your family maybe cleaning up your home uh you know for some there is also move to another home but i feel like you're putting the past in the past okay which is wonderful and then you you're focusing on stability whatever that stability means to you whether it means spending time with your family whether it means you know finding that right job whatever it is taking care of yourself however whatever it is that brings you that grounding that st stability that foundation to you you will be focusing on that and then taking steps forward from you know from this stable foundation so you understand you know i i'm also getting with this card and we have the thanksgiving long weekend year so it's like you're giving thanks for all the blessings in your life because from whatever you've lost whatever didn't work for you you now have a greater understanding which if it wasn't there you have that you understand that with the truth card right smack next to the foundation you understand what's important what brings you joy and i'm not just talking about superficial joy guys i'm talking about deep uh you know spiritual true where is your heart you know this like it said that home is where the heart is right so it's like what is 
home to you it could be a person it could be your home it could be you meditating and connecting with your heart self whatever that is for you and finding a deeper meaning and building that foundation okay and uh the rainbow always reminds me as like a sign from angels so whenever i see the rainbow it's like my angels are you know sending me a sign so this is you know also telling me that your home is protected your family is protected you are safe as you are building this foundation now interestingly the last card we have is hope and this is such a beautiful card now if you look at this card closely i, I don't know if you guys can see there is this orb of light but there is a figure yes there is a figure standing in this orb of light it's almost like god's hands are holding you and god's hands are renewing you and giving you this hope and giving you this new life it's like you are being renewed on so many levels on a cellular level on a dna level like you're you're shifting you're changing your concepts your beliefs your patterns and everything that you went through you understand the higher meaning you understand the reason that you had to experience even if you do not completely understand don't fret it guys because your higher self knows and uh you know and you're headed in a good direction one and seven is eight that means abundance you are building your own abundance and abundance can mean so many things it's not only about money abundance is finding your true prosperity and happy happiness guys i believe that happiness or abundance you know when someone says this person is abundant to me it's like you can be sitting alone in one spot and yet be in peace with yourself and have that happiness within yourself to me that person is abundant okay it's not always about how much money they have or you know from a 3d perspective like uh, status or money it's not that sometimes people with all the money in the world can be the most miserable and why is that that's the question right so abundant person is that who is integrated within themselves who feel peace no matter whether they have something or they don't have something it doesn't matter because they know that the universe will provide them at each and every step at each and every moment so i feel the universe is giving you so much hope and telling you not everything is lost don't look at your losses as i've lost this or you know all the things that didn't work for me and i feel you know there's always a choice there's a choice to feel like a victim there's a choice to feel rejected dejected and you know feel like nobody loves me or i'm always in these dark situations or to take those dark situations and say you know what i learned so much from it i am a victor because i learned this i have more compassion i hold more forgiveness I have an open heart and open spirit i'm open to the blessings of the universe so you see how there's this shift of energy and guys everything is vibration everything is frequency so i hope you have enjoyed this reading it seems like a beautiful reading to me and i love the way this is ending because i feel like you guys are releasing a lot there is a higher awareness you know where what's important there's a lot of gratitude here and when you're when you're in this energy of gratitude your energy is magnetic and you can draw so many blessings to you just because of that it's magic guys and that magic is you that magic is your frequency <laughs> so thank you so much for watching as always i love making these videos and uh, thank you for subscribing and thank you for being here have a good one